hi, 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 hi. Thanks for having me. Who has the first question? Good question. <laughs> That's the first is question. The first question. <laughs> yeah, I know. So tell me, what's your sign? Any Sagittarius? <laughs> so, oh, oh yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> how will Scott react when he realizes that his mom and his deceased ex-girlfriend's dad are like becoming a couple? So it's like this. <laughs> um, I think that you know he explores that you know uh, in, in the ne next ten episodes. We'll see a lot of exploration of that and see where it goes. I like to say like once you land a big kiss like that on somebody, you've got to talk about it. So uh, you know that just doesn't you can't just blow that over. So we'll have to see where that takes us as a family. So what's your favorite moment from your character with Scott and from all the seasons, but also this season coming up? Well, this season, we have a really wonderful scene together uh, that comes in kind of the later half of 6B, so I can't really talk about that, but it was, it was really amazing to shoot, and we had a lot of fun with it. And uh, favorite moment, you know, sometimes it's not the stuff that you see on screen, it's the stuff that's off screen. The times that mm, it's a long day, and it's getting longer, and we're tired, and we're at base camp, and we're just kind of hanging out, and just, you know, he's on his little guitar, and you, know, you can hear the crickets at night, and we're just kind of sitting there, and those quiet moments are, are some of my favorite moments. Yeah, and just, you know, hanging out. Just hanging out like friends. <laughs> More than on screen, because when, you know, when you're working, you can't really be present. At least I can't really be present because you're thinking about what you're doing. So it would be like if you're writing a dissertation, it's like, what, what was your favorite moment when you were writing that dissertation? You don't really remember because you were writing, right? So it's in-betweens. Um, to be in Paul H. this year and have this kind of epic farewell to the show, what was that experience like yesterday? Were you guys there? I yeah, yeah, I was. Wasn't it quiet? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, was it quiet? I was surprised there wasn't as many screens, but I think it's because everyone's, you know, sad. It was like a yeah, yeah. very somber. Yeah. We were boring, were we? No, no you guys, guys were fun. Yeah, it was like a boring. goodbye. It was really interesting really really to what you had yeah. to say. Yeah, I mean, I felt that. I felt, it felt intense up there. Um, you know, and, and maybe some of the stuff that we were saying wasn't new. You know, um, but and maybe it was a, a strange, in a strange way, the guy. But this feels really. We, we are still very positive and excited about where Team Wolf is still going with these ten episodes. And then I find myself to be very excited about the future of people discovering what we've done. You know, I mean, and I know that a lot of people go back and they watch the episodes over and over again. But you know, my little fantasy is like five years from now, somebody tweeting, "I'm just starting Team Wolf." Oh my gosh, I remember when my big sister was watching it, I had no idea, you know, those kinds of moments I think would be really fun. Because I do believe it's one of those shows that's going to live, keep going, you know, whether it's through this fandom or a new fandom or new discovery. Hopefully reunions also, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Comic Con reunion. Lyndon always jokes, he's like, I hope I'm alive. <laughs> oh, he's fine. <laughs> he's going to be fine. Him and Susan are going to live forever. They're vampires. <laughs> well, she was on a vampire show. Yeah, she was on Vampire Yeah, Diaries, so. so it's, it's official. <laughs> <laughs> um, now that the show's ending, do you have a message to the fans or any Mama McCall words of wisdom? Oh, yes. I, my, the message to the fans would be like, thank you for being there through thick and thin. Thank you for um, supporting us and loving us, even when maybe you didn't like what was happening on the show. You know, I, you know, it's 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 a lot of responsibility to to write well for established characters, and I think that Jeff and all the writers have tried to do that over the seasons. And you know, um, even though there have been some key moments that I think that people uh, either disagree with or didn't want to see or wanted to see more, I think that he's done justice to this. Um, to Beacon Hills and what we've created there. And uh, I think it's just, we're all very honored and grateful to have been a part of it. And we're honored and grateful that you guys are here and Jeff, care about it. I want to say more. Colton <laughs> <laughs> wants to speak Literally now. Literally getting me too, and I'm, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Colton, hey. <laughs> okay. um, what have been some of your most rewarding fan interactions over the years? Uh, the the one that immediately comes to mind, it was my first overseas con, and we were in London, and uh, my partner, Kenny, who's also an actor, we were in Piccadilly Square, right? And so the most popular kind of like, it's like, you know, Times Square of London. We're just trotting around, and 
and all of a sudden these two girls come up to me and they're like, oh my gosh, Mama McCall, we're freaking out. And they were from Saudi Arabia, where Teen Wolf doesn't even play. And they have to get it like illegally on the internet. And they were just saying, you know, how important it is to them. And it was my first real interaction with um, someone that, you know, is perceived to be so far away in a completely different culture, right? Especially mm -hmm. for women. And the fact that somehow, like, we're having this moment in London, <laughs> which is far away from where we shoot. And so it was kind of like a very interesting moment. And I realized in that moment that our show probably had a, a larger and wider impact than I ever thought before. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it was, so they're my Saudi girls when I refer to them. <laughs> they know who they are. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then one time, um, a, a young girl had lost her mother, and she had, um, oh gosh, I don't want to cry. She had uh, put it out on Twitter to me, and I tweeted her back. And then somehow she made it to a con, and she printed it out to show me, and she said that it meant a lot. And I think the responsibility is something that I talked about over there, the responsibility of, I feel, when people reach out to me, whether it's real or perceived to be real, I take that very seriously with my social media mm -hmm. and responding to people because you just never know with just the smallest thing how you can help somebody. True. And I find that to be more positive than negative. It's been only a couple of times where I've run across like assholes. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.